Hi. I'm Eliza, and today I need you to close your eyes, close your eyes, close, 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 close your eyes, and follow my instructions, okay? So sit back, make yourself comfy, and keep those eyes closed, okay? No peeking. Good. Now the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to read a short passage and I want you to guess, no, I want you to count, I want you to count how many times I say the word and, and the word and. Okay, are you ready? Good. A rhythm at its most basic is a looped pattern of percussive sounds, hits and pauses. By choosing a pattern length and number of hits, Euclid's algorithm can be used to sequence a rhythmic pattern. Many traditional rhythms from around the world happen to conform to Euclid's algorithm, implying an innate beauty in the link between their mathematical and aesthetic forms. How many times did I say the word and? How many times? I believe it was three, but it's difficult to um, I think it's three. Okay. The next one. I want you to count how many times I say the word the. The. T-H-E. The. Okay, are you ready? To generate a Euclidean rhythm, one picks a number of steps, total beats in the bar, and the number of hits, percussive sounds, to occur within the bar. By subtracting the hits from the steps, the number of pauses within the bar is derived. The algorithm distributes the hits equally amongst the pauses. For example, the Euclidean rhythm for eight steps and five beats, which is a dot, thus requiring three pauses, dash, is, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash. How many times did I say the word the in that section? It was quite a lot. It was quite a lot. I think it was about 10 or 11. Okay. For the next one, it's going to be a bit harder. I want you to count how many times I say the word the and. The word and the or and 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 the. the both and and the. Okay. The outer polygon has corners equal to the number of steps, with each corner representing a beat in the bar. The inner polygon has corners equal to the number of hits and is constructed by applying the results of the algorithm, sequenced hits and pauses, to the outer polygon's corners. You can play the rhythm by starting at the top and looping around clockwise, clapping for hits and tapping a foot. It was quite a few amount, quite a few um, times. Good. Now, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is a game. I've played this game before in one of my videos, and it's a game where you have to find a connection between three words by thinking of another word that you could add to the beginning or end of all three of those words to get three new words. It sounds complicated, but it's not that complicated, I promise. So for example, if I say green, string, and bag, green, string, and bag, a word that could connect all of those words could be bean, green bean, string bean, or bean bag. Okay, I hope you understand. So, the first one that I have is, number one, we have board, board, b-o-a-r-d. We have 
Hole, H-O-L-E, Hole, and Jack, Jack, J-A-C-K, Jack. We have Board, Hole, and Jack. I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about it, and while you think about it, I'm going to make some background sounds. But just keep thinking about the words board, hole, and jack. I'll give you maybe just ten seconds more. Ten, nine, eight, seven. could connect these could be black. We have black board, black hole, and a black jack. Black board, black hole, and a black jack. Did you get it? The next words we have is double, double, road, road, like R-O-A-D, road, and stitch, 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 double road and stitch, double road and stitch. Good, and I'm going to give you some time to think about it. I'm going to be making some background noise with this fan that I have. I actually don't think I hear a lot of fan sounds in in ASMR in general, but I think that it's a, a very nice sound. Are you still thinking about double road and are you ready for the answer? The answer is cross, 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 double cross, crossroad, cross stitch. I think that's quite a hard one. Double cross is quite a difficult mm, piece of vocabulary to have in your mind, so well done if you got that one. The next one we have is Maker, maker, M A K E R, maker. Tennis, tennis, and stick, stick. We have maker, maker, tennis, tennis, and stick, stick. I'm going to go back to tapping on my wooden postcard while you think about this one. Make a stick. What was the other one? Okay, I'll give you ten more seconds. So for this one is match, match, matchmaker, a tennis match, and a match stick, match stick. Good. Okay. The next words we have chair, chair, pit, 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 
and rest, 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 what you should be doing right now if you're resting, rest, pit and chair, chair, rest, pit. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to think about this one. Some of those are a little bit tricky, but I think that they're quite fun, so I hope that you think they're fun too. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I am going to type a sentence on my keyboard. This is what it sounds when I'm typing on the letters. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like when I press the space bar. So this is the letters. And this is the space bar. So I want you to count how many times I press the space bar as best as you can. Okay? Good. So listen carefully. I think it was seven, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, if you're ready for the next one, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to write my next sentence. Okay. sentence. Are you ready? Good. How many times was that? How many times? How many times? How many times? Good. I believe it was six. I believe. I believe it was six. Let's do one last sentence, one last sentence. How many times was that? How many times? How many times was that? Good, good job, good job, good job. 
Well done, you did excellently with that. The next game that we're going to play is a game of categories. So I'm going to tell you a category and I want you to tell me three things that could fit within that category. Okay? So just try to answer as quickly as you can, but it doesn't matter. So the first category is supermarket chains. Supermarket chains in your country. Tell me one, tell me two, three. Good job. The next category are animals that are stripy. Animals that are stripy. Tell me one animal that's stripy. Good. Tell me two. Good. And number three. Can you think of a third one? Good. It took me a while to think of a third animal. I thought of cheetah, zebra, and bumblebee. Cheetah, zebra, and bumblebee. What did you think of? Nice. The next category are things with wheels. Things with wheels. Tell me one thing with wheels. Good. Number two. Good. And number three. Number three. Good. Good job. Next category are things that can fly. Things that fly. What are three things that fly? Number one. Good. Number two. Good. Number three. Number three. Good. Good job. I thought of airplanes, birds, and witches on broomsticks. <laughs> what did you think of? Those are good ones. Um, the next category is pizza toppings. Tell me three pizza toppings. Number one. Good. Number two. Good. Number three. What about three things that you would take to the beach? To the beach. Number one, what's one thing you would take to the beach? Good. Number two. Good. Number three. Nice. What about things that you would take on a picnic? Three things you would take on a picnic. Number one. Number two. Good. Number three. Good job. What about three sports? Three different types of sports. Three sports. Number one. Good. Number two. Good. Number three. Good. That's quite an easy category. What about three things that have buttons? Things that have buttons. Number one. Good. Number two. Good. Number three. Number three. Good. And finally, three things that make you smile. Three things that make you smile. Number one. Mm-hmm. Number two. Mm-hmm. Number three. Good. Well done. Okay. Amazing now. The next thing we're going to do, I am going to whisper in your ear and I'm going to count up until a certain number and I want you to tell me what number I stop counting at. Good. Okay. Are you ready? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What number did I stop counting at? Good, that was seven. Well done. Are you ready for the next one? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many was that? Good, that was fifteen. 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 Good. I forgot already, but I think it was fifteen. Good, okay, the next number. I How many was 
was that? What number did I get up to? Okay, that was 26, 26. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many was that? That was 11. Good, that was 11. Okay. Now I have some riddles for you um, that we can try to solve. Well, I already know the answer, so you can try to solve them. Um, so the first riddle. What has four fingers and a thumb but isn't alive? What has four fingers and a thumb but isn't alive? Four fingers and a thumb but isn't alive. Um, I'm going to make some background sounds like we did before with the connection game so that you have a bit of time to think about it. So I'm just making some sounds with this shape. But don't forget about the riddle. The riddle is what has four fingers and a thumb that isn't alive. One, two. Okay. Are you ready for the answer? The answer is a glove. A glove. A glove. A glove has four fingers and a thumb, but isn't alive. It's a piece of clothing. Okay. The next riddle we have is... Hmm. What goes all the way around the world, but stays in a corner? What goes all the way around the world, but stays... Or I guess what could go all the way around the world? What goes all the way around the world? But stays in a corner. It stays in a corner. Hmm, this one might be tricky. What goes all the way around the world? But it stays in a corner. Can you think of something goes around the world well that could potentially go around the world it goes it goes to a different place but it stays this thing stays in a corner it's always in a corner do you have any ideas what it could be The answer is a stamp, a stamp, because a stamp on a letter could go all the way around the world, but a stamp will always stay in the top right corner, I think it's in the UK at least, it's the top right corner, I think it's the top right corner everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, so it travels all around the world, but it stays in a corner. That's quite a tricky one. The next riddle. What do the letter T and an island have in common? An island and the letter T. What do they have in common? What does the letter T and an island have in common? What does the letter T and an island have in common? Think about... Think about what makes an island an island. The answer is that you find both of them in the middle of water. So you find an island surrounded by water and the word water 
has a letter T in the middle. So you'll find both of them in the middle of water. That's also quite a tricky one, I'm not sure. Well done if you got that one. I think it's a bit tricky. The next riddle. A man goes outside in the rain without an umbrella and without a hat, but he didn't, he didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? So a man went outside in the rain, he doesn't have an umbrella, he doesn't have a hat, he doesn't have a, a marquee or someone else holding a newspaper over his head. No, he doesn't have anything to keep the rain off him. And yet he doesn't get a single hair, a single hair on his head. He doesn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why could that be? Why could that be? The answer is because he was bald. He didn't have any hair. He's bald. So he didn't get a single hair on his head wet because he doesn't have a single hair on his head. <laughs> That's a silly one. I liked it. And Um, what kind of coat is best put on wet? What kind of coat, a kind of coat, is best put on wet? What kind of coat is best put on wet? I'm going to give you a second to think about this one. I'm going to make some sounds with my fan. What kind of coat? would be best to put on wet. What kind of coat is wet? Are you ready for the answer? The answer is a coat of paint. A coat of paint. Otherwise, it wouldn't be very effective as paint. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed those little games and exercises. 